Um, we spoke earlier on about the different cycles that the soil actually hosts, and that's the phosphorus cycle. Uh, in modern day farming, we put fertilizers in, and the fertilizers come into a different um, nutrient solution form that the plant will then take up, just simply as a soluble form. In the natural system of farming, or should I say growing, um, what happens is we've got this pool of nutrients sitting in, in the uh, soil, and, and there they are down here, like the primary nutrients and the secondary ones as well. But they then go through a soluble form, and that soluble form is taken up via the soil organism performing a function on it as well, and mineralizing or, or immobilizing it as well. Okay? So there's a lot of interchange that's happening in that soil. Uh, a very important one that is increasingly being uh, used in farming and particularly in cropping is a mycorrhizal association. So basically, I guess the key here is that that big box there is looking at all the organic forms of nutrients, but what really is the key to that organic nutrient uptake and, and, and being um, metered out to the plant when the plant needs it is the soil organisms. They, Interestingly, they become active when daylight becomes longer and the soil temperatures come up and we've got moisture. And that's obvious at springtime when uh, things really start moving along. Um, but the flurry of, of reproduction of the soil organisms happens in that period of time uh, deliberately so that the plants have the support from below the soil to uh, start growing. Anyway, the residues from the plants then come back into that pool again. The soil organisms work on that and the phosphorus cycle continues, including the animals and our, us as humans putting the materials back in there. And we'll talk a bit that, about that later on because some of those materials are, are very important in the way that we uh, push the biological uh, processes along.